Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot and your August reading, your August monthly outlook. Um, those of you who are regulars, you know I'm a Sagittarius myself, so I always love a reading for Sagittarius. We're going to start off with your animal spirits and pull two of those. See what kind of people, places, and things you may be resonating with this month. And then we'll get into your nine card reading. Your spread. All right, show me Sagittarius for August. Show me. All right. Oof, the fire ant and the bear. Oh, man. So the fire ant. Anger, you're dealing with somebody. Fire ant is an interesting... Uh, uh, animal spirit, fire ants, you're dealing with somebody's very regimented fire energy, somebody who is um, very easily upset when the order is thrown out of whack, they're easily sort of irritated, okay, so watch out for that, it could be that you're resonating with that energy yourself, it could be that somebody else is resonating with it, but more than anything, fire ants are all about sort of like uh, if, if things aren't exactly the way they're used to them being, it's the soldier, right? They, they're used to there being an order, a way things uh, following following direction. And when there isn't that there, that kind of the lead or that direction or that sort of order there, that's what really upsets them the most. So you want to take care of that if you're resonating with that energy. If you're being sort of overly sort of strict on things that don't really matter, right? Reacting too harshly because things are out of place or you may be dealing with somebody like that. Bear energy is earth energy and bear energy is really lovely sort of awakening energy. It's an energy to awakening uh, to spirituality. Oftentimes uh, there is like a physical sort of, you, you have an epiphany because you start to see physical connections uh, with spirituality and the things that up until now, perhaps some of you may not have been thinking about, right? The bear really represents a kind of coming out of hibernation or coming out of a period of time where you just didn't think about certain things in certain ways. And now you're kind of having this illumination, right? This revelation, this illumination that's coming in about your life, perhaps, perhaps the way you've been living your life and how that all connects to sort of your spiritual outlook. Very nice energy, awakening energy. So let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius, to see what is going on for you this August. Show me Sagittarius for August. Show me. Is this going to resonate for anybody in Sun, Moon, Rising? Venus or Mars in their chart in Sagittarius, okay? So it depends. You may resonate a lot, a little or not at all with the reading, and that is just fine. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Straight out, you are coming in with Page of Swords, Five of Swords, and Five of Wands. There is your fire and energy. Two of Swords, a decision needs to be made. Lovers, at the heart of it is a lover's connection and a Four of Wands. Okay, the world... Four of Swords, more Swords energy, unbelievable, and the Chariot. Bottom of the deck, we have Page of Wands. So Page of Wands reminds us not to be afraid to follow our passion, not to be afraid to follow what we desire, what our ideal is, right, for ourselves. Okay. Um, wow. At the heart of your reading this month, we have lover's energy, and the bottom card is the crossing energy for this spread. Oh, and there's your ace of cups. There's a new love coming in, but this love is coming in kind of rocky. And we'll get to it, right? But right away we have, let's cross it like this, lovers and page of wands. So ultimately what we're saying here, we have that ace of cups in the background as well. What we're saying is there's a lover's connection, and there's a feeling of being fearless and going for this connection this month. Uh, it may be unusual, it may be unconventional, but there is a love connection, lover's energy, strong soulmate lover's energy with that strong, fiery desire to push forward page of wands, no matter what anybody thinks or what, you know, you may have up until now been afraid of. Page of swords, confidence, come in this month. You start Argus with a sense of self-confidence 
and no longer doubting yourself. No more self-doubt. No more sort of beating yourself up. Page of Swords is beginning to see with clarity because of this strength that strength of psyche that you're developing, or certainly. I'm not saying you don't have it or that you're only just now developing it, but you're certainly coming into August with a sense of positivity and belief in yourself, right? Uh, confidence, but belief in that you understand things, that you, that, you, that you can follow your own sort of ideas, and that, you, that what you see is what you get, right? So you, you're trusting your judgment as well. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. So... Someone is really battling, arguing, bickering, five of wands. It's a competitive streak, right? It's almost as if, and I don't feel like you're the one coming in with that. You're coming in with page of swords. It feels to me, Sagittarius, like there's a lot of competition going on around you. There's That's the five of wands. And then the five of swords is, is defeat. It's like you don't want to fight. You're not willing to fight, Right? You're not the one who's willing to engage in a certain battle with somebody, yet there is battles range, raging sort of around you. This could very well be several different people vying for your attention, vying for your affection, because Five of Wands is a very competitive energy. And yet you, with your positivity and your sort of clarity that you're coming in with, Five of Swords, you're kind of, you're embodying that desire not to play games, not to argue, not to be involved in this back and forth, a decision to finally say, no, enough is enough, right? You may have been battling with someone and it's like they're not playing fairly. And you're kind of, you're like, uh, uh I'll give up. This is interesting, it happens in the beginning of the month. S second 10 days of the month, middle of the month, you have a decision to make and that decision is about love, right? That decision is about love. Because it comes in lovers, and you come out with four of wands. Some of you are, you know, you're going to make a particular decision, or you're going to find a particular balance, and it is going to come out as beautiful. 11 11, soulmate energy. So it starts off rocky, but it's not really so much you. I, I feel like this is, it's interesting. It's almost as if this is all kind of going on around you. You're the one who's dipped out of the arguing that you've been dealing with, but there's, there's still this going around you, and yet at the middle of the month, this decision comes up. And this decision could be your decision and somebody else's decision. It could be that somebody, you know, moon and Libra, you may be dealing with Librianic energy, or you may have Libra energy in your chart, but there's something going on here where there is a decision being made by you and I think another person, which is what brings you guys to Four of Wands, which is absolutely a new love connection, a soulmate connection. By the end of the month, you begin to make really strategic decisions about how to move forward. The world, Four of Swords, and Chariot. There's a feeling of a destiny happening, a destined sort of faded, journey beginning in August. You're being very, very careful, Four of Swords. You're being very, very careful about what decisions you're making. There is a stability here that you don't want to lose. So you're being very careful, but yet and still, you know that this is, there is like a fate to this that is happening. A fate to this connection. It's all kind of unraveling this month. And more than anything, I mean, to have lovers and the four of wands in a reading is just so powerful as far as meeting a love connection, a soulmate connection, a connection that is going to not only start off equal, but endures, right? Um, show me some clarity. Chariot energy, it's like by the end of the month, chariot, it's like you guys begin to think about where you're going to go, where you're going to live. Are you going to live together? Are you going to travel together? Are you going to move around together? What is the next stage? And it feels absolutely like there will it will be together, um, but not not until after all of this plays out in the beginning. Somebody is going to have to make a decision, and it's based based on this competitive edge that's happening up here. Show me clarity for Sagittarius. Very interesting. It could be that this competitive, this competition, or this kind of really. And I want to say this is this is like happening, obviously, right? There may be some embarrassing moments at the beginning of the month. All of this is spurring someone on, whether it be you and your person or either of you, to make a decision that then solidifies this relationship. Page of Cups. Wow. Strength. There's your strength. Four of Cups. Money issues come in. 
five of uh, four of cups. I'm sorry, five of pentacles, money issues, uh, four of pentacles, five of pentacles, ten of swords, and three of swords. Okay, so f worries about betrayal, but that goes but that you leave that behind, ten of swords down there. Okay, so that's why you want it, you're being very careful. But look at this page of cups over page of swords. So, right at the beginning of the month, there's a real feeling starting today, even of you know, confidence in love, confidence to tell someone how you feel, confidence to make that move, that first move, right? Confidence to show someone that you care about them. Strength comes in. So you're being very, very strong in this moment here. This Again, this all of this, the energy that's going on around you, power struggle, there's big power struggles going on around you. So you're being strong with those and at the same time you're being strong with this connection or this particular struggle you've been having where you say, look, I'm not going to get involved anymore. Two of Swords comes in, and some of this is down to money. It's, it's something about money issue, a stability issue. It forces a decision here, but it also kind of brings about this, this kind of solidifying of the love connection. And some of you are working your way out of difficult times through this love connection as well. So it's almost going to be as though once you guys get together and kind of make that commitment, it's you get that put, push forward to help you sort of out either of you or both of you out of a sort of bit of a less stable situation that you were in. Nevertheless, Ten of Swords and Three of Swords, the days of betrayal are behind you. Okay, there's a feeling like this is being left finally behind you. Um, and But there is a worry about being betrayed in the, in the future, I feel like. Three of Swords, okay, so Four of Swords, Three of Swords, there's a real kind of caginess happening here on your part or your person's part, and it has to do with their fear of being betrayed, their fear of being left betrayed, et cetera, et cetera. They may have suffered, there's an aspect here with that five of pentacles, you may be dealing with somebody who's suffered a lot of financial loss through a relationship before, okay? And so there is a wanting to protect that, there's a feeling of wanting to protect that, there's a feeling of not wanting to go through that again, but, uh, by the end of the month, with the right communications, right, it, it, you guys overcome that Ten of Swords. It's the last time you overcome it. It's the last time that that fear hurts you, affects you, right? Nevertheless, chariot energy, world energy, right? So it, it, this is all feeling very, very faded and very sort of destined and time is right, the right time, but... You, you, you are dealing with, you are certainly a uh, Sagittarius dealing with somebody who has had some issues with relationships and who has some baggage or some pain that is associated with it. So there is a little bit of fear, but that fear is not going to really stand a chance because the love connection here is so absolutely strong. Some of you are dealing with a Leo strength. It's Leo. Some of you are dealing with Gemini or Cancer. Lovers is Gemini, and we have Chariot for Cancer, or somebody has that energy in their chart. Show me some energy, uh, shadows of, uh, excuse me, spirits of darkness and light for this Sagittarius reading. Show me. I'm going to pull, like, three of these to see what kind of energies are impacting, helping, or hindering this connection. Show me. Interesting reading, Sagittarius. Very interesting. Beautiful and strong, but not without some work and some being careful of the way you speak. Four of Swords talks about being careful of the way you talk, strength, the way you communicate. Make sure you're not lashing out. Spirit of gold, there's your money coming up. Spirit of the dummy and spirit, wow. I want to say, I feel like these are the exact same cards that came out for a previous reading. All right. Well, the spirit of the dummy and spirit of the past, okay? So... Nostalgia, aching, old flame. Some of you, Three of Swords, there's a past connection here. Or it could be that this person is coming in now to sort of battle for your new person, right? For your attention. There's something to do with an old flame coming in. Also, Spirit of the Dummy and Wealth. Spirit of Wealth. So that Spirit of Wealth is, again, coming in as a result of this decision here. And I think the Spirit of Wealth or Increase comes in once you guys decide to be together, if you decide to move this forward, right? But we have spirit of the dummy. So there's a cluelessness and a weakness here somewhere along the way. And you're going to see how that plays into it. Again, could be to do with some of this bickering up here. 
could just be some outside influence that is coming in. You will see how that resonates for you. I'm going to leave it at that, Sagittarius. This is your August outlook. Interesting month in love. Very, very interesting. Be careful with your communication. There's going to be a major decision that's going to be made. And there's going to be some issues about money that comes in or fear of losing money through, through betrayal. But all of this really doesn't stand much of a chance. Because there is a feeling of destiny happening here with the soulmate connection and the world card. It's just coming in the way it should be. And then the strong feeling of desiring to move forward together with that chariot. All It's all going to take really, really depend on your level of communication. Making sure that you are communicating on a high level. Okay? Four of Swords. All right, guys. If you enjoyed, if you got something out of this, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, check out your Twin Flame readings or your Shadow Flame readings. And that's it, Sagittarius. I will see you guys in your next Outlook. Bye-bye now.